Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana Chief Justice Randall Shepard in his annual State of the Judiciary speech Wednesday outlined both challenges and changes affecting the state's legal system. WTIU Stan Jastrzewski reports. In his 24th State of the Judiciary, Chief Justice Randall Shepard said Indiana courts face many challenges, some new and some lasting. What do you do when somebody comes into the courtroom who speaks only Laotian? What can be done to cut the cost of litigation? How do we deal with the phenomenon of jurors using smartphones? Shepard says the state continues to expand its electronic case management system with about half of the state's counties now online. Apart from technology, Shepard says the state has also benefited from simplifying instructions to jurors so that they are clearer. Direct evidence that an animal ran in the snow might be the testimony of someone who actually saw the animal run in the snow. Circumstantial evidence might be the testimony of someone who only saw the animal's tracks in the snow. Shepard also echoed a legislative priority of Governor Daniels that the state reform its sentencing structure and ensure that only those people who need to be imprisoned wind up in jail rather than with a diversionary sentence. And an IU law professor is urging a crackdown on how law schools report the number of graduates who get jobs. WTIU Stan Jastrzewski reports. For years, U.S. News & World Report has produced an annual ranking of law schools, separating them into several tiers and attempting to assess which is best. One factor in that calculation is how many graduates of each school are employed within nine months of receiving their diploma. The problem, says IU Mauer School of Law professor William Henderson, is that employment at a law firm counts the same as employment in any other field. I think that the solution, the best next step, is just to publish all the data on employment for every single law school and unpacking it, not just employed versus unemployed, but are you employed in something to where, uh, uh, but for your legal degree, you probably wouldn't be there. So basically getting at the value add. Valparaiso University Law School Dean Jay Connison, who chairs the American Bar Association's Accreditation Committee, says it's widely known that the numbers don't tell the whole story. But Connison notes rankings organizations can use whatever methodology they want, even if changes are made. Still, he says the question of what information to report is one the ABA's questionnaire committee is working on. Connison is also quick to add that even though change may be appropriate, there's no timetable for making it, and no plan for who would assume the cost of collecting the necessary information. And checking the weather forecast tonight, mostly cloudy, nearly steady temperatures around 17. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 21 the high. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy, t overnight lows around 18 degrees. And then in the five-day forecast on Friday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 20s with the chance of snow back in the forecast for the weekend.